What's wrong with being? What's wrong with being? What's wrong with being confident? Oh, huh. Hey everyone! So today I'm going to talk about confidence. Confidence is something I think we all struggle with, except for certain people. Yeah. So if you're not that person, then you probably have struggled with confidence once in your life. So I thought, why not make a video since I do get a lot of questions asking how I am so confident and let me just say, I'm hopeless and awkward and desperate for love. Yeah. Number one, make it a daily duty to love yourself and try to be confident. It's just not going to happen overnight. Something that I did when I was younger was I made a reminder that says, you look beautiful today or stay strong or something along those lines to keep myself positive and sometimes it didn't work sometimes it did but it was a nice reminder to constantly remind me to go love myself and I think that is so important is that you should do it every day not just once a week not just like you know once a month like a period but literally try every single day to love yourself even though it does seem narcissistic, it's so important because you do need to love yourself. I find that everything works out a lot better if you do love yourself. Your relationships, your friendships, your body, your health, your... I mean, like, literally, think about it. Loving yourself is, like, a part of your emotional health, so you should do it for you. So I like to go look at my, look at my mirror and just say, I love myself. I look beautiful. I am beautiful. And Honestly, it used to be a struggle every day I do that, but now that I do that, I don't do it as much because I've worked on it and I do other things to help myself, but from doing that, I did learn to love myself. So, what I'm telling you is to look in the mirror and basically, Oh baby, you should go and love yourself. I'm not gonna lie, I really love that song. Step two. Focus on why you are insecure. Why are you insecure? Is it because of other people? Is it because of a certain aspect of your body? What is it and what is contributing to it? If you're like me and you care about what other people think, learn to say, I do not care. Like literally learn to say, I do not care. If you think to yourself, like if you're in the middle of a conversation and you're just like, oh my God, what are they thinking about me? Oh my god, they probably hate me. Learn to say, I do not care about what you think about me. Like literally, play the song by Fall Out Boy, I Don't Care. It's a great song, but I mean, listen to it and relate to it because not caring about what other people think about yourself and focusing on your opinion will make a world of a difference. And when you realize that focusing on your opinion will be a lot easier and you'll be able to really control what you think about yourself. You can't really control what anyone else thinks, so focus on you. You do you, boo. Do you, boo boo. Do you, boo boo. Step four, find the right friends. Having the right friends is super important. If you're around people who drag you down and make you feel like crap, don't be around them. I, for the longest time, stayed with people because I thought they were cool and I thought they were popular. But sometimes they're really just terrible friends that don't care about you. And that just brings people down. I literally would be around a person and all I would feel at the end of the day is like crap. And once I got them out of my life, I was like, God, so much better. Like they were just a waste of freaking time for me, honestly. And God bless that I left high school, honestly. God bless the fact that I graduated, like, honestly. Finding the right friends who respect you, love you, it's just super important. Like, I have such amazing best friends who know me so well, like, I love them. Like, they, they are just so beyond amazing. I love them to death and they, they know who they are because they literally have seen me cry, seen me do anything basically, not anything. But they've just seen me through it all and they're just the best. So finding the right friends is super important. And number five, number five, make sure 
to be yourself. Being yourself is super important and I know you can get lost and think, oh my god, I'm this person, I'm that person. But just figure out who you are. Life is not about finding yourself, it's not about creating yourself, it's about building who you are and about trying to figure out everything. I mean, life is just kind of crazy. So learn how to love yourself and learn that you might not know who you are right away, but it's a it's a journey, but it's a journey and it's gonna happen. And if you let it happen and if you really work on it, I promise confidence will come. Number six, own your imperfections. Owning your imperfections is super important. I grew up having a lisp and a speech impediment, and I actually had surgery on it twice. And I did it for health reasons also, but I was just really having issues with people trying to understand me. And even then, after, I still had a bit of a lisp. It did, the surgery did work, but I still had to work on it. And I constantly felt like I was just this loser. Now I just love my lisp because it makes me sound different and now that I work on my speech therapy, like I notice that a lot of people commend me for trying so hard and for working on it and for trying to own my speech impediment because a lot of people are afraid to be themselves and to own their imperfections. So I can say I love my lisp. Number seven, it's a journey. Being confident is such a journey, being happy is such a journey. So if you do feel confident one day and then the next you feel insecure, don't worry, don't sweat it, it happens. So don't get discouraged if you have a couple bad days in a row or if you have one bad day or one good day a week or whatever. Confidence is a journey and the more you work on it, the more it will come. And if it doesn't come to you right away, do not sweat it because didn't come to me right away. I really had to work on it and there have been nights where I've literally cried myself to sleep. So just don't sweat it. Remember in the end of the day, it's you that matters. It's your opinion that matters and not anyone else's. So yeah. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see all of your sexy faces next time. Bye!